Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and welcome to your seventh video tutorial on Skeleton. So today we're going to talk about HTML tables and Skeleton automatically adds its own styles to your tables to make them look like this, okay? So it looks quite nice, um, but we're also going to take a look at creating um, the effect where you have um, every odd row um, with a lighter background color. So you might have seen this on other websites. Um, we're going to implement this using a custom CSS class um, because Skeleton doesn't actually include it by default. So I'm um, going to add some codes, uh, just a class that will um, extend Skeleton to um, have this feature. Okay, um, so let's go ahead here and first just create this example right here inside um, this local HTML file. All right, so inside the code we have this right here. We have an empty body tag. So um, let's go ahead and create. Um, the usual container. So we can add a div here with a class of container and put a single row inside here and a 12 column layout. So we'll say here 12 columns. All right. Inside here, we're going to add the actual table. So using the standard HTML table tag, we can use it just like that. All right. And first, we're going to add the table head. So we'll say t head just like that. We can now add a single row for the head. Okay. And also put um, just uh, just a few column names in. So we'll say th, and we can say, for example, name. Um, we can use age, occupation, and we can just say um, the car that this person drives. Okay, so I can just save this and refresh my browser, and we get this right here. Okay, so um, pretty straightforward. Now we also might want to actually add um, the utility class to make this table take up the full width of its container. So we want all of the 12 columns to be used by the table. So we can just go inside here and add the class um, uh, u-full-width. Okay, let me just fix up my keyboard layout real quick. Okay, cool. So we'll just say class u-full-width. All right. I can save this and refresh and now we get this right here. Okay, so let's go ahead here and just create a few uh, rows in the table. So we have some data here. Okay, make a new row. We can say for the name, it'll be Dom. He is 25 years old. He's a software developer. And he drives an Audi. Okay, I don't, but let's just say, for example, I do. Alrighty, and we can say John, 19, he makes coffee, he's a barista, and he drives a BMW. Alright, add a few more here, we'll just say uh, Sarah, she's 32 and a software tester, and she drives a Tesla. Okay, and finally we can have uh, Michael, who is 75 years old. And he is a customer support member. All right. And he drives a Ford. Okay, so um, I can just save this and refresh my browser and we get this right here. A nice looking table automatically styled by Skeleton. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and create um, the, the odd row with a light background color. Okay, so by default, as I said, Skeleton doesn't actually include this as a class. Um, so we can go ahead and actually create it um, using our own custom CSS. Okay, so let's just go ahead here and create a new CSS rule. And we can say here, for example, um, odd background, odd background color. Okay, um, not the best name for the class, but it does the job, right? So we're going to say here, odd background color, I'm going to target, we're going to target uh, every every odd table row inside the table body. Okay, so we'll say colon nth child, or even you know what we'll use nth uh, of type. All right, we put odd inside there. So we're saying every every odd uh, table row is going to have a background color. Of um, a light, a light gray. All right. I can now add this class to my table. We'll say odd background color. I can save this and refresh, and we get this right here. Okay. So as you can see here, 
um, skeleton is going to remove some padding on the first and last um, cells inside your tables. So um, it looks a bit funny because obviously here we have no space between the background and um, the text here. So let's just actually um, restore that padding that skeleton has purposefully removed from um, the table. Okay, so inside the skeleton source code we can see that um, for the first child of the uh, table header cell and the table cell um, we have padding left of zero and same goes for the last child this time a padding right of zero. So that's why we have the um, the uh, no padding on both sides. So let's, let's go ahead and actually copy this right here and paste it inside the HTML for this file. Okay, and we're going to also just append or um, prepend um, the class here. Okay, just like that for all of these um, selectors. Okay, so now we can just uh, restore um, the 15 pixel padding. So um, here we have a padding on both of these regular ones for 12 up and down or top and bottom and 15 for left and right. So they're being removed here. So let's just add the 15 px back to the left and the right. All right, and we'll just say right. Okay, so now I can save this and refresh and we get our final result. All right, and that right there is tables within skeleton. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.